Hi, this is Terry with Sweet Stitch and Embroidery and Design. I've had several requests from fellow embroidering friends who are using uh, key fob designs but aren't how to merge lettering or designs with the key fob design using Sew Up Pro. And that's what we're going to do today. And actually, I'm at a website. It's called bugalena.com. You can see it here on the screen. She has some free uh, designs. Uh, they're really great. They're key fob designs. If you click the free designs link here, you can download them. I've already uh, purchased one and uh, put these two in my cart. They're really cute little designs. So right now I'm going to um, show you where the history tab is. I've got my account here set up. Click on Terry Laughlin. You click order history and details and she will send you a download e link to via email uh, I usually like to just download it from the website and then you just uh, click the one that you want to download uh, right now we're doing the blank circle snap tab key fob and that's great it's a whole set uh, different sizes. She's even got two to a hoop and four to a hoop uh, using the larger hoop sizes. You can use a five by seven and uh, you don't have to worry about setting it up. Just put your designs in it. So we've got this already downloaded. We'll pretend you've downloaded yours as well. And now we're going to open our Sew Up Pro software. I've got it minimized here. There we go. And we want to uh, unzip the file that we just saved from the bugalena.com website. So left click file and open. And when we, you'll see that um, there's a zip file here. And so a pro actually comes with an unzipping program built into it. So you don't have to buy another one. And it's really, you know, great to have. So anyway, I'm going to scroll down to the design I need because I don't need to unzip all these other designs right now. So I'm going to just um, double click this one. Left double click. I thought that would open it. I have to click open. Sorry about that. Okay, there's the design. And it's really great because um, now that design's open and we didn't have to unzip all the other ones that we don't need right now. Taking up space on our computer. We want to merge our second design. I'm going to put a volleyball on this key fob. And uh, I actually found the volleyball on an embroidery garden key fob design. And I uh, saved it as a file. So let's open it right now. File open. There it is. Oops, sorry about that. I meant file merge. File because if we do file open, it'll open in two separate uh, designs rather than merging it together. Actually, I'll show you. File open. We don't want that, so let's just close this. Sorry about that. Okay, let's go to file, merge, left click merge. There's our volleyball, then click open. And then all we have to do is put our cursor over the uh, picture of the uh, volleyball embroidery design. Hold down the left mouse button and just drag it down to where we want it. There we go. And uh, I kind of don't like that size. I'd like to have it a little bit smaller. So here are the two components of the volleyball. There's the bottom of the volleyball and the top stitching. So I'm going to select both of those and I just want to make sure I've got them both because I'm going to resize it. So I'm going to left click that, hold down my control button, and then left click again while holding down the control button. So I've got both of those selected because this is the only part of the design I'm going to make smaller. So we'll go up to tools, click resize pattern, and I'm going to um, I've got this unchecked. I don't do percentage most of the time. I just like to do the letters. I mean the size. Type in the number. 
So I'm going to put 1.0. And since I've got lock aspect ratio checked and auto adjust checked, everything automatically gets calculated for me. So, and actually this should be 1.0. Oops. Since it's a circle, I just want it to be round. So there we go. And I've got auto adjust stitch, stitch density left because it is a circle and it's just enough off where the ball's not going to look round. So hit OK. There we go. That's a better size for what we're doing because we're going to be merging a couple of letters. So um, let's go back up to File and click Merge. I'm going to go to Recent Places to find my font file that I purchased from uh, Jolson's. And this is the Jolson Designs Little Sugar Satin font that I'm using. It's JD294 if you're looking for it anywhere. And I'm going to get a letter in. Merge that. And you can see my letter N is over the volleyball. So let's just select the letter N, hold down the left mouse button, and we'll drag it down here out of the way so we can see it. Now I'd like to uh, add a couple more letters. So I'm going to go up here to View and Album Icons because I've already merged a letter. And I'll show you an easy way to add the other letters. Click Album Icons left click and this shows the um, file directories that I've recently used this is the key fob design that we're using right now and like I told you that you can have it 4 to a hoop, T to a hoop these are all the formats and right now it's showing all file types so we can Take our little slider button down here. Scroll down, look at our alphabet. I'm going to add a W. So I make sure that alphabet mode is checked. And I left click the W. Then I'm going to click an L too. And see it lines it up as I click it. So now I've got my lettering. So I'm going to go back to the stitch view again, out of the album view, so I can see uh, better how to lay out everything and merge the and move the letters. So uncheck this by left clicking it again, and see we're back into our stitch pl stitch pane view again. And the way it is now, we've got the first stitch for the um, key fob. This is the last stitch that goes around it. Now what I like to do is I put it uh, in the stitching order, I put it last. So uh, since it's the last thing to stitch, and so we need to move it down to the bottom. So what you do is you hold down your shift key, hold down your left mouse button, and as soon as you hold down your left mouse button, you can see the cursor changes to a little picture, it looks like a piece of paper, and just drag it down slowly to the bottom of the stitches where you want to release it. Change the number one thread color. I think I'll make it a like a dark fuchsia color just to make it stand out. Actually let's do this blue here. It's light blue. Or maybe even go a little bit darker. just makes it easier to see when we're editing our design. Okay. So this is our first stitch for the placement uh, where you uh, place your um, marine vinyl, your twill fabric or whatever you're going to use or your felt. And this will be our volleyball and then there's our three letters and then the final stitching for the key fob. 
we need to join our colors because um, the way it is now, these three letters, if you've got a single needle embroidery machine, it'll stop and each time it stops you're going to have to start it again and it's easier if it just stitches continuously for the three letters. So let's go up here to edit and click join threads. And we'll join all adjacent threads of the same color because we've got all different colors here. All the um, letters of the NWL are blue so when we click join all adjacent threads of the same color, all the blue threads will join. So now we only have the five color stops. And we can select our lettering again and we can rotate it to make it look like it uh, is placed better on the key fob now. We can either put our cursor on the little green dot here and rotate See how there's like a light dotted line? It shows you where the design is going to be located when you release the left mouse button. Hold the left mouse button and just drag it around. See how your cursor changes to a circle or the little green dot? That's the rotation dot. You can move it up here. That's looking pretty good. <clears throat> the other way to rotate your design is you can also use the rotate menu bar up here. You can rotate by 90 degrees, 10 degrees, or 1 degree in a counterclockwise direction. If your rotate menu bar is not showing, uh, just go up here to uh, view toolbars and docking windows and make sure that you put a left check there. Check mark to the left of the name. Just left click it and it'll put a check mark in there. So this is looking pretty good and all we have to do now is stitch it. Uh, we can also preview how it's going to stitch by using the so show button here and I've got it set to where it doesn't play sound. You can make it play sound by clicking that. See it's checked now but it's pretty loud so I just usually turn the volume off of that. <clears throat> and stitches per second, that doesn't have anything to do with your embroidery design. It's only on how fast it stitches on the screen. You can slow it down or speed it up with these little arrow keys. I usually keep it around 200. And so let's hit the play button. And we can watch it sew. And you can see the order and every, which every uh, thing is getting ready to sew on the screen. You can see your underlay and then the satin stitch going over it. looks like we have our key fob the way we'd like to have it stitched. So now all we have to do is save it. So let's go up to file and do, click save as because we don't want to save it under the same file name that we've already got because we want to keep our blank the way it, uh, it is originally. And what I do is <clears throat> I save it under a different name. I'll save it as, you know, the uh, C blank bugalina, but I'll also add volleyball and NWL. Then click save. Then if I go back up to file and click open, you'll see that now we've got the. Let's click that to make it wider. You can see the new file name there. And that's all there is to it. And I hope that. Um, you have a great day and I'd love to see your work. If you have any questions, contact me on the So What Pro Facebook group. The group is called So What Pro. And uh, if you have a question or a suggestion for a design, please let me know.